It really makes you think, like, what if that would have been you? A deadly crash kills two UBC students walking along this road, and flowers are left at the scene here for the two 18-year-olds. The collision has some arguing for better lighting and preventative measures to make roads around the university less dangerous. Debris and glass are still scattered on scene. A day after a vehicle veered off Northwest Marine Drive and hit the young woman and man. RCMP say it happened just before 2 a.m. Sunday. At the time, this student was walking nearby. I was visiting a friend, so I happened to pass by all the commotion as sort of an eye-opener. And it's just something that um, I feel no first year could really imagine, like to just be here on campus for the first few weeks and then um, out of nowhere just one night. This is a uh, devastating accident uh, for our UBC community. And, uh, you know, right now I think that the AMS, along with the rest of our students here at UBC, were... Um, you know, really grieving with you know those who are affected, and I think you know everybody uh, you know has really been impacted by this unfortunate tragedy. Grief and trauma counselors were at the university Monday for anyone who needed to talk, but some are discussing the dangers of the road. Certain stretches of the UBC, so the quote unquote UBC Highway or South Ends Marine Drive, that can be a little problematic for drivers, especially late at night, and especially if there are stretches that aren't as well lit. UBC professor Benjamin Chung witnessed a fatal collision on this stretch of road 10 years ago. And I wish that the powers that be could be a little more proactive uh, about these kinds of things. They're only in first year at university, so just to start our lives. So I'm a driver as well, so you know, it's, it's tough. You've got to be on high alert. Before we start looking at safety, we need to know what the cause um, of this uh, incident was. Um, but however, if the RCMP investigation comes back and finds that there are safety concerns in the area, um, you know, our job is to advocate for student safety on campus and we will continue to do that if necessary. RCMP say a 21-year-old man was arrested and treated in hospital for minor injuries. He was released to appear in court at a later date. The province's Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure says it will work closely with the RCMP to learn from their investigation and complete a safety review of the corridor. University RCMP is still figuring out if speed or impairment were involved in the crash. It's looking for any witnesses and dash cam video of the incidents. In Vancouver, Crystal Adaris, City News.